Hello everyone. I just wanted to share with everyone my favorite taskbar layout for Windows 10, even going back to Windows 8, 7, and even earlier. Now you at first might see this and think, this is awful. I don't like it at all. You might want to just close the video, but, but hear me out. This is what makes this setup the best. So for example, all the windows have their own icon. So for example, if I have three Chrome windows, here they are. I can just instantly click on one and go to the other. I have say three Firefox windows. I can see which one is what. I can know what is what. So for example, I have a Blender tutorial folder. I have a videos folder. I have another videos folder. And instead of waving over the folders or kind of invisibly trying to shift to where I want to, I can immediately go to where I want to on my PC. So for example, if I'm working on a file and I just need this videos folder, I click here. I want to go to this one. It's open right there and I can see it all in front of me. I need snipping tool. I can click on it right there. I have a, say a notepad open. Do I want to open a new notepad? Oh, I meant to open a, there we go. So and now I have two notepads. As you can see, it's, it makes switching and actually doing work so easy because if you're, you have a lot of things open, if you're one of those people that has one browser window open, that's it. Maybe you won't really like this, but it, it, it just, it makes actually knowing where you're going, not clicking on Chrome and switching to the window that you want. You know which window is what everywhere and, and which file is what you can see clearly what is open and is labeled. Now to set this up, first of all, I recommend extending the taskbar. You can keep it small, but I, it tends to fill up pretty quick. So make sure your taskbar is not locked. Then you right click on taskbar settings and you click combine buttons never. And the only other major tip I have is to remove, first of all, search, Cortana, task view, remove all that stuff. And also the way you kind of focus on having this ta taskbar layout is only have the main icons of, so for example, like Chrome, Google, or Firefox, something like that. But any program you don't always use, just keep it right on the start menu like this. That way you have lots of space in the taskbar. You can see everything. You can go directly. You don't, you don't have to zigzag between different locations or click on your Firefox icon and then select the window you want. You, you're not wasting time. And I really recommend everyone to give this a try. I know it, it just, it looks, it looks odd. It doesn't, especially, it just, it just doesn't look good. But when you're actually using it for a week, you will never go back. It's just, it's, it's so easy. It's, it's so nice just knowing what folders are open, for example, that that, I don't just have an icon with 15 different folders, folders under it. I don't need, I don't have five video folders because I didn't realize it was open. It just, things like that don't happen. Like I'm working in this folder frequently, it can be open and I can see it in front of me. It, it makes it makes all the difference. So I hope this helps someone. I just want to make one more addition to the video. And that is, you may wonder, why do I have snipping tool necessarily? There are other good screenshot apps. And you are correct. I have the best one that I really think this one is absolutely excellent. It's called Lightshot. It's, it's one of those apps that's just, it's like half a megabyte. But it, it's just, it's super clean, super smooth. It has tons of features. It is it literally takes up no computer power and it just works. So uh, we're, we're um, about light shot. Here it is. So let's just say I'm going to hit Windows print screen. Oops. Now I can select an area. With light shot, I can now change the area. I can save it, copy it. You can also search for similar images. You can share it. And one of the coolest options is you can just upload it directly to a website. So, so for, for example, if you can't send an image, but you can share a link. So see, I have a link here. Now I'm going to copy this link. Just click enter it. Here we go. You can see the screenshot I just took and you can send that link to anyone you like. And I just, I really like the fact that this light shot app is just, it's tiny. There's, there's nothing to it. There's actually nothing you can click on it. Just when you press the print screen button that it comes up with all the options. So I'm going to press that again, but it's perfect in conjunction. This is what makes it so great with snipping tool because light shot, it's, it captures a screenshot. However, with snipping tool, you don't have to save the screenshot. You can just keep it open like this. So for example, I just need this as a reference for the next hour or so. I can just have this open and if I don't need it anymore, I just do this. 
and I have another reference. And at the same time, I can copy and paste, save any screenshots I want with Lightshot. But Snipping Tool just allows me to kind of have like a, essentially just a capture of something I don't really care about, but maybe I'll need it in an hour or so. I just wanted to add that because I feel like it makes this whole thing kind of like screenshotting and the whole layout just uh, excellent. I hope it helps.